Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 328. And this week, we have some pretty wild stuff to talk about in all 328 weeks of making Street Race Talk every single Friday for the past 328 weeks. That's a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Not once in that entire time span have we discussed a topic such as this. One of the main guys in Street Outlaws, one of the guys we've been following along with from the very beginning, has been sentenced to spend time in jail. More on that later on in this week's episode. I don't want to try and like talk the entire episode about that because we're turning into like drama alert at this point, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got some car stuff to talk about. Don't you worry. The first thing is Ryan Mitchell, driver of the KC Max Firebird, unfortunately wrecked not last week, but the week before. Now, the wreck was pretty bad because we've seen this car wreck before. We've seen him get into accidents wrecks we've seen him drive off the road at dig or die back to track no prep races all kinds of crazy stuff has gone no war in the woods was the one where he drove off into the woods at the war in the woods drove the car out drove it to a car wash drove it back to the track and continued racing and this isn't like he put on a trailer and drove there he drove the actual firebird there this thing is unreal and is a resilient race car we've seen dominate small tire racing for the past couple of years now and unfortunately got into a pretty bad wreck the worst one we've seen this car have i do i don't think we've seen this car have a wreck worse than this at least for as long as i have been following this car this is the worst wreck we have seen and they posted some stuff saying We'll update you guys shortly in regards to what's the status with the car. And we got to update this past week. They're working on the car, making progress, putting it back together. And I hope we see some more of this car back out on the streets very soon. Because as we've mentioned time and time again, this is one of the most dominant cars. Not only currently in street racing, but you could say ever. This thing is unreal. I, it was the, what, I, I, the years are all mixed up right now. We're in 2022 right now. And it was either the beginning of last year, 2021, or the beginning of 2020, where we went, I think it was 12 weeks in a row, 12 weeks at the start of the year, where we said the KC Max Firebird, driven by Ryan Mitchell, won a race every single weekend. And this isn't like individual grudge races. These were like events, like bracket style races, where he was the championship for like 12 weeks in a row. This thing is absolutely insane. We saw it go toe to toe with the OG Murder Nova on the 405 show this past season. A crazy car. Best of luck. Glad Ryan Mitchell seems to be okay. Hopefully the car is okay and will be back out on the streets in no time. And speaking of a car and driver that'll be back out on the streets in no time, Jeff Lutz, has also been making some progress on the 57. Chevy, Jeffrey picked it up, was it, oh my gosh, it was last Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. He went and picked up the 57. Now it's back in their possession, although they're currently getting ready for no prep kings. I've seen some of them post some stuff about testing in regards to that. I don't want to spend too much time talking about the no prep stuff, but assuming that they're putting all their efforts into no prep racing right now, I doubt we'll see any real progress on the 57 for a little bit unless like they work on it just between the no prep races i honestly don't know because seeing that there's supposed to be a street show filmed in july and jeff lutz is competing in no prep kings for the full schedule in the gto that's what the gto was originally meant to do he only raced it on the street for america's list in the 405 show because of the wreck with the 57 although seeing that i assume a 405 show will be filmed in july will jeff be able to finish the 57 in time and then race the new 57 in that street show during July, or will he be unable to finish it because of the no prep Kings races? And then we'll see the GTO once again on the street in July, or will he just cram to get it put back together, begin racing in the GTO and switch over to racing the 57 during the filming for the show. I really don't know. We will have to wait and see for some more information in regards to that and that whole ordeal with Jeff Lutz coming back out with a new 57 Chevy. And just to be clear, I know a lot of people have asked about this multiple times. Is this car a rebuild of the car that wrecked. No, this car he is building is a brand new 57 Chevy from scratch. He actually had a legit stock like 57 Chevy he went out and bought and is turning it into the race car we will see him race on the streets, hopefully later on this year. And now time to transition on into the main topic. And as we mentioned at the start of this week's episode of Street Race Talk, this is 
unprecedented news for Street Race Talk in 300, almost at 200, no. We've been doing these for a while. 328 weeks, we've never had something such as this. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Sightsinger, one of the 405 guys we've been following along since season one of Street Outlaws, one of the guys that raced, I believe, in the first ever episode of Street Outlaws, has been sentenced to spend time in jail. That is correct. Shout out to the Lost Ogle because they are the media website that posted this article about this whole situation right here. Now, this news, we'll say, isn't very, like, popular news right now. And I think it's because not a lot of people really know about it. The article initially started out by saying they had an inside source which gave them information in regards to this topic right here. An inside source is the way that they acquired the details for this topic. And I haven't seen one person post about this on social media, not on any of my comments, on any videos or Instagram posts, or any messages of mine have been anything in regards to this. So it appears right now, not really anybody knows about this. This one news source is the only one that is really talking about this topic right now. And I believe they're like an Oklahoma-based news source. And once again, they stated that they had an inside source, which gave them the information about this topic. And I'll try and summarize to you guys the whole situation right here. Chuck Sightsinger was booked into jail this past week, and he is sentenced to spend 18 months suspended to 60 days in county jail and 305 days on paper, which means that even once he's released from jail in June, he will be unable to leave the state for 305 days. And then afterwards, he's said to spend anger counseling after he gets released. That was something it mentioned at the end of the article. And again, just to be clear, if I'm like, I appear weird talking about this, I apologize. Cause like I said, we've ne normally we're talking about like, Hey, do you see this race? Oh no. Do you see this guy wreck? Hey, did you watch that episode of street outlaws this past week? We're like drama alert right now. Ladies and gentlemen, talking about like actual, like real life drama news stuff in the in regards to what this sentence was for, I don't want, like, again, we're not drama alert out here. I don't want to go into details with that. I'll just say it, it, the article stated it was essentially, we'll say, aggressions towards his ex-wife. That's what we'll say in regards to that right now. But this, I mean, to me, came out of nowhere. Again, I mean, it's. I assume when you guys are watching this right now, it'll be coming out of nowhere for you as well because no one's said anything about this we haven't seen a single thing in regards to this at least i haven't and the thing is too like i feel like with all of the the drama going around right now with street outlaws like chuck isn't the only one right now that's going to be involved in this whirlwind of street outlaws drama going around the entire street outlaws franchise will say in the street aspect of it is a drama filled mess right now you could say with all the current stuff going on and this is the weird thing as well a lot of the current stuff going on happened a while ago. So it's like we're in that weird uh, dilemma where we have like, okay, we're revisiting drama and stuff that took place once ago. So it's kind of a weird situation right now. But you would think like with all this stuff going on right now, something would have got out about this. But I haven't seen anything besides this article, which was released on Wednesday. And I mean, this is just, I mean... This is crazy. I'm so he's, is he not going to be, I mean, if he's, he just got booked into jail for at least 18 months. I mean, it's not, he's not going to be in no prep Kings for this next season. I assume won't be in the street show later on this year. Again, like this is unprecedented for news we've covered in street race talk. We've never once before had a situation such as this. I mean, yes, there's been people that have been on street outlaws who have gone to jail, but never one of the main guys, one of the guys we've seen from the very beginning, Chuck commented the first couple seasons of no prep Kings. He's been an integral part of the 405 show from the very beginning he was one of the last small tire cars we saw in the 405 when we saw him first shift over to big tires shot up right away to the top of the list raced memphis the first time we saw memphis race out of town on the 405 show i mean we've seen him for years on the show and to see something like this is just it's crazy to say the least. Again, like I'm not trying to sound like I'm feeling bad for him or anything like that. Like hopefully justice is served in that whole situation. And I mean, just a wild time to be a Street Outlaws fan, ladies and gentlemen. Just to sum this all up, Chuck Sightsinger, one of the Street Outlaws stars, has been sentenced to spend time in jail. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so very much for watching TTVE to the very end of this week's episode of Street Race Talk. I hope you enjoyed this episode because not only, like I said, we've never discussed a topic like this before. I hope I did a good job at talking about it with you all again. Like, I mean, 
my bad if I said, like, my wording or phrasing was a little off. I'm used to talking about, like, hey, do you see this cool race? Or do you see this guy's building a new car? I'm not used to talking about guys going to jail. Hope you guys still enjoyed the video. And we've got a new mic right here for these videos, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hope I'm not speaking too loud because, again, I got this directional mic. So normally when I'm like, oh, sorry if you hear the garbage truck or the Amazon delivery truck or the dogs barking in the background. Normally I'm apologizing for that. But this will hopefully eliminate those background noises and i'll probably have to adjust the audio or the le volume levels we'll say at which i talk so i do apologize if i was a little it's or not if i was a little loud i apologize if it sounded a little loud but hopefully it, it at least sounded good ladies and gentlemen like i said i thank you all so very much for watching ttve make sure you guys click that little bell turn notifications on so you do not miss a single video that upload all my videos upload go live at 6 p.m central standard time and make sure you guys tune in monday night at 6 50 p.m central standard time where we will be going live here on my channel watching the new episode of street outlaws america's list the streams have been phenomenal the support in them has been unreal all of you that have been tuning into the streams thank you so much much and if you haven't tuned into one yet already i encourage you to tune into the one this monday night at 6 50 p.m central standard time make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below about your reaction to this topic i want to hear what you guys have to say leave all of that in the comment section down below make sure you check out midworldstreetcars.com and use coupon code stampysxyz for 20 percent off your order first link down in the description will take you directly to their store i also set up a p.o box so if you guys would like to send me stuff address is down below in the description but like i said that is all thank you so very much for watching ttve hope you guys had a great week this week and are looking forward to a great weekend this weekend and i honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching ttve make sure you follow me on instagram at stampysxyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz Z signing out.